The Neutral Atom Platform is emerging as one of the most promising frontiers for building large-scale quantum computers. To tackle the most complex problems in physics, chemistry, and beyond, future quantum machines will need an enormous number of qubits, the fundamental units of quantum information. Unlike ordinary bits that can be either zero or one, qubits can exist in both states at once, thanks to a mysterious property called superposition. This unique behavior could one day allow quantum computers to outperform even the fastest classical supercomputers. Yet, there's a catch, qubits are fragile. A small disturbance can destroy the delicate quantum state, introducing errors into calculations. To protect against this, researchers use extra qubits that serve as backups, constantly watching for and correcting mistakes. But this safety net comes at a cost. Building a reliable quantum computer may require hundreds of thousands of qubits working together in harmony. In a breathtaking leap forward, physicists at Caltech have created the largest neutral atom qubit array ever built, an astonishing 6,100 qubits, all arranged neatly in a grid made entirely of light. For perspective, earlier arrays contained only a few hundred qubits. This new milestone marks a huge step toward truly scalable quantum computing. The project comes amid a global race among scientists to expand quantum technologies. Competing approaches include superconducting circuits, trapped ions, and neutral atoms, the very method that Caltech's team used. This is an exciting moment for neutral atom quantum computing, says Manuel Endres, the Caltech physicist leading the study. We can now see a pathway to large, error-corrected quantum computers. The building blocks are in place. Using optical tweezers, laser beams so precise they can hold a single atom, the researchers created thousands of tiny traps inside a vacuum chamber. By splitting one laser beam into 12,000 tweezers, they captured 6,100 cesium atoms, arranging them like glowing dots across a screen. On the screen, we can actually see each qubit as a pinpoint of light, explains graduate student Hannah Manich. It's a striking image of quantum hardware at a large scale. What's even more remarkable is that the team maintained both scale and quality. The qubits stayed in superposition for around 13 seconds, nearly 10 times longer than previous experiments, and individual atoms were manipulated with 99.98% accuracy. Large scale, with more atoms, is often thought to come at the expense of accuracy, says Gyohei Nomura. But our results show that we can do both. Now we have quantity and quality. The researchers also succeeded in moving qubits across the array while preserving their fragile quantum state, a feat akin to running with a glass of water without spilling a drop. Trying to hold an atom while moving it is like keeping the glass from tipping over, Manech explains. But keeping it in superposition is like making sure the water doesn't spill, even as you run faster. This ability to shuttle qubits around without losing coherence is a key advantage of neutral atom systems, offering more flexibility than hard-wired superconducting platforms. The next major goal. Achieving quantum error correction on a massive scale, thousands of qubits working together to detect and fix mistakes in real time. Quantum computers must encode information in a way that's tolerant to errors, says Ely Bataille. But since qubits can't be copied, thanks to the no-cloning theorem, we have to use clever strategies to preserve data. The team's next challenge is to link qubits together through entanglement, the strange quantum connection that makes particles act as one. Once entangled, these qubits can perform true quantum computations, simulating the laws of nature themselves. Entanglement is the very force that powers quantum mechanics, it shapes matter, energy, and even space-time. Harnessing it could unlock new discoveries, 
from uncovering exotic phases of matter to designing revolutionary materials and exploring the quantum fabric of the universe. It's thrilling, says Manech, her voice filled with wonder. We are building machines that will help us learn about the universe in ways that only quantum mechanics can reveal. And so, with each flicker of trapped light and every whisper of entangled atoms, humanity edges closer to a future where the quantum realm itself becomes our most powerful tool for understanding the universe.